The first big revolution in home recording was the four-track Porta Studio. Using standard cassette tape, you could layer instruments and voices and end up with some great sounding recordings. Today, digital recording has allowed us to go a lot farther. But this was such a good system, it's a great way to explain the process of multi-track recording. So let's start here. The recording deck is designed with a tape transport on one side and a four-track mixer on the other. There are four channels to record on. Now why only four is pretty much a limitation of the tape size. Cassette tape is one quarter of an inch wide. In a professional tape recording studio, the tape is much wider and can record as many as 64 tracks. I have some drums on track one, a bass guitar on track two, on track three, rhythm guitar, and on track four, I have recorded my lead guitar. So now, I have control of each of these instruments on its own track. With the built-in mixer, I can then adjust the volume of each instrument. I can also change where a track sits in the stereo image. Stereo music has been the standard for over 40 years. We have 5.1 surround sound multi-channel audio. But most music is still produced in stereo. You have a left and a right channel, and that's all we'll be concerned with here. Effects is the next thing you can control from your mixer channel. The effects send knob adjusts how much of your instrument or voice is processed by whatever effect you have chosen and returns it to the mix. The next set of knobs control the tone. You've heard the term EQ. This is short for equalizer. An EQ allows you to adjust the tone of a track and sort of shape it to fit better into your mix. There is a whole segment devoted to EQ on this video. There is also a segment on effects. So let's move on. We then need to set what we're recording on the track and also what we are hearing on it. On a mixer, this is called a channel strip. And each channel strip has input connections. Microphones and instruments are plugged in here. Let's look at the tape transport controls. Play, stop, rewind, fast forward, pause, and record. Your virtual studio software works the same way. You have transport controls, recording tracks, a mixer, and even an effects rack. 